everyone, welcome back. In our last video, we explored the foundations of networking, what a network is, its key components, types, topologies, protocols, and that seven layer wonder called the OSI model. If you missed it, check the link in the description to catch up. Today, we're taking a closer look at the OSI model. Why? Because it's the secret blueprint behind every email you send, every video you stream, and every website you visit. Understanding it is your key to mastering how data moves through a network. Ready to dive in? Well, let's go. Now, a quick refresher before we get started. The OSI model splits networking into seven layers, each handling a specific part of getting data from point A to point B. Picture it like a factory assembly line. Every layer adds something crucial to the process. From bottom to top, we've got physical, data link, network, transport, session, presentation, and application. Last time we skimmed the surface, today we're going deep, layer by layer, to see what each one does and why it matters. Let's start at the bottom and climb our way up the stack. First up, the physical layer. This is the nuts and bolts level. Think cables, connectors, and switches. Hey, even Wi-Fi signals. It's all about physically transmitting raw data bits over a medium. Imagine it as the roads in our digital city. No roads, no travel. Ever lose your Wi-Fi because you're too far from the router? That's the physical layer saying, I need a stronger signal. Next, we have the data link layer. Here, data gets organized into frames and devices get their unique MAC addresses. Think of them as license plates for your gadgets. This layer handles communication within a single network like your homeland using tech like ethernet. Switches live here, directing traffic efficiently. If your network's sluggish, this layer might be where the bottleneck hides. Now we hit the network layer, the routing mastermind. This is where routers shine, using IP addresses to send data across different networks. It's like a GPS figuring out the best highway to get your data from your phone to a server in another country. Logical addressing happens here, making sure data knows where it's going. This layer is the bridge between local and global connectivity. The transport layer is all about delivery. It decides how data gets sent reliably with TCP, like a track package, or it could send it quickly with UDP, like live streaming where speed trumps perfection. It breaks data into chunks, ensures it arrives in order, and retransmits anything lost. Without this layer, your Netflix binge would be a mess of jumbled frames. Up next, the session layer. This one's like the receptionist who manages connections between devices. When you log into an app, it sets up the session, keeps it alive while you're active, and closes it when you're done. Ever been logged out after inactivity? Well, that's the session layer tidying up a little bit. Just a little, little bit. The presentation layer is the translator and stylist. It formats data so that receiving devices can understand it. Think of converting text to a web page or encrypting your online banking with HTTPS. It's the layer that makes sure data looks good and stays secure before handing it to the top layer. Finally, the application layer. The one closest to you, the user, you. This is where your browser, email, or chat apps interact with the network. When you type a URL, this layer starts the process sending requests down the stack. It's the friendly face of networking, turning raw data into something you can use. Now it's time to put your OSI skills to the test. Now picture this, you're streaming a video and it starts buffering. Which layer might be to blame? Is it the physical layer? with a shaky Wi-Fi signal? Or maybe it's the transport layer dropping packets. Drop your guess in the comments. I'll reveal the answer next time and give a shout out to some of you smart thinkers. So why care about the OSI model? It's your troubleshooting superpower. Whether you're fixing a slow connection at home or designing a massive enterprise network, these layers help you pinpoint the problem. It's also the foundation for understanding protocols, devices, and how everything fits together. For CCNA students, mastering this is a game changer. It's your stepping stone to a career in IT. Now that's our deep dive into the OSI model. If this clicked for you, smash that like button, subscribe for more CCNA breakdowns and next up we'll be tackling IP addressing how devices get their unique IDs to talk across networks got questions about the OSI later drop them below I'd love to hear from you and until next time keep studying keep exploring and keep networking have a good one